His name is Martin, and the speech is called Eulogy, if I'm pronouncing it right. <laughs> Welcome, Martin, and thank you. I really did not want to speak here today as this is a moment where no one wants to speak. We've lost a friend. To me, a loved one. We're only a small gathering here today. But so many people befriended this person over the years. His name was Free Speech. What a cruel fate when a couple with the last name of Speech decides to call their firstborn free. <laughs> now that's just setting the poor kid up for mockery, right? I say he because to me, he was the man. Others complain and say, you can't say that. Free changed. And now he's a she, and you have to call him her, or call her her. Not to me. I knew him, and he was okay with me calling him he. You see, he did not care what I called him. He cared how I treated him. What is there to say about free speech? He was a brave person. He knew that it is okay to offend as long as you don't do it out of ill will. He knew that it is impossible to have a difficult conversation without offending anyone. It is inevitable that we will offend each other as we stumble awkwardly but valiantly while attempting to address things that are difficult to talk about. He knew that avoiding to offend anyone should never be at the expense of not having the conversation, the discussion. Now, free speech is no more. I will mourn his loss. He really was quite the character. He made us tolerate, but not just tolerate. He didn't want us to settle for tolerance, for tolerance is nothing but acceptance without appreciation. He made us understand. He made us human. And I can only hope that a phoenix will rise from his ashes and a new place for curiosity will emerge. Because without curiosity, conversation, knowledge, history, and the liberty to ask the difficult conversations and the difficult questions. Where will we be? May he rest in peaceful discussions. Thank you. <laughs>